Hello everyone, Louis here. Let's talk C Sharp. You may have wondered what a static keyword does, and that's a really good question. The static keyword actually has a few different applications in C Sharp. So let's look at how to use the static keyword with methods. Methods are procedures that are programmed to perform a task. The first thing we need to remember is that there are two categories of methods, static and non-static. So what's the difference? Static methods attach themselves to classes. They are their own thing and do not depend on an object to exist. Non-static methods, in contrast, attach themselves to objects. They depend on an object to exist. Let's look at a few examples. A very familiar static method is writeLine, or good old friend in the console class. So when I do something like console dot right line hi we're effectively calling a method named right line how do i know it's a static method because it's attached to a class console i know console is a class because well i never declared a local variable called console also the word console has a different color it's the color my ide uses to identify classes but what if i had a different color scheme one that did not identify classes by the color green. Well, that's exactly why we should never memorize this kind of thing based on their color. There's something we can do to double check what console is. If I right click console and say go to definition, Visual Studio pulls up the class definition for me. Let's take a look at this. Well, looks like console is a class. It's actually a static class. And in here, if I look for right line, there it is. See, it is a static method. It actually has a number of definitions here. By the way, you can always use this trick whenever you have to double check a definition in C Sharp. Visual Studio won't always give you the actual code as a lot of it is hidden inside the various APIs, but you can at least check all the definitions. So how about non-static methods? Like I said, non-static methods attach themselves to objects. So the first thing we need in order to call a non-static method is, well, an object. So let's create one here. I'll declare a new object, say a string. So string my object equals I am an object. Now if I go to the next line and say my object dot IntelliSense is so nice to us that it actually reveals everything that's available to us inside that object. Not only does that include a bunch of properties such as length, which gives you the number of characters in a string, but also quite a few methods that we can call. For example, the two upper method that returns a string containing the all caps version of the original string. Again, we can use the same trick as before and take a peek at the method's definition. I'll right-click the method and say go to definition. There it is. See? The static keyword is not there, so it's a non-static method. Now, of course, the static and non-static methods available to us inside classes and objects actually vary from class to class and from object to object. As we define our class, we'll also define our own methods. Some will be static, some will be non-static, and those are the methods that will be available to anyone using our classes in their program. You may really want to know how to declare methods in your classes now, don't you? Don't worry, we'll get there. In the meantime, if you have any questions, feel free to drop it in the comments or shoot me an email. I'll be happy to help. Cheers!